Hey you guys, you're Marty Gig. In this video, I am using the Nintendo Switch finally on the TV for the first time. Um, and there's some cool things I want to share with you guys. Like, for example, uh, one thing that we couldn't show you guys when I did the unboxing and initial setup was the TV settings uh, properly because it was not connected to the TV. We did it mobile as a mobile device. So right now, when we go to settings, right, let's go to settings. And I like the sounds that it makes when it's... Uh, it's connected to the TV as well. So right here you got TV settings. And if you remember when I clicked TV settings before when it was on mobile, you could only see 480p. You're gonna see 480p, don't panic. That's because when you connect it to the TV, you're gonna finally see 720p and 1080p, just like that. But of course, you could just leave it automatically and it will automatically detect the resolution of your TV and connect to the proper resolution. So that's one thing to keep in mind there. Here you got RGB range, you got automatic full range. So right now I just leave it automatic, adjust screen. Here we can go ahead and adjust the screen if we want. Uh, let's go ahead and adjust the screen here, for example, right there, right? Go ahead and adjust the screen there, 96%. Uh, screen burn-in reduction, you just leave that on. Uh, it says reduce screen brightness after five minutes of inactivity. That's good. Uh, match power TV. Uh, make sure you leave that on because what's cool about that is that, for example, you have connected the, H the switch to the TV via HDMI, right? And depending on the TV, some most TVs, when you turn off a, an HDMI device, the TV automatically turns off as well. So what this does is that when you turn off the TV, it will automatically turn off the Nintendo Switch. So make sure you just leave it that on. Some TVs is gonna work, other TVs it won't. Um, here you got TV sound, surround sound, stereo, and mono. So right now I'll just leave it on stereo. It says, it says, what it says, select, select test to play. Okay, let's say test. Okay, look at that. Yes, that was pretty cool. So that's cool there. So you could do a, a test there. Let's see what happens if I should it put it on stereo. No, oh, it didn't give me the test there. Huh. Let's go back here again. Here you go. Ooh. So that right there, that means that it actually properly connected 5.1 surround sound. That's what it is. So basically that's it. When it comes to TV, that's all the settings you're gonna have on the TV. Uh, like you saw on my, on my first video, you can actually do the initial setup um, just using the tablet alone. Now, another thing I wanna share with you guys right here, for example, now we're gonna go ahead and disconnect this from here, the Joy-Cons right there from the grip. Oh, and another thing to keep in mind is that when you have it here, and on the grip, this right here has two lights. This is the normal grip. This is not the one that recharges the Joy-Cons. So right here, you're gonna see the battery life of both Joy-Cons. See, they're both full percent. It, once they keep on going down, they're gonna keep on going down like that. If you're using one only as an exclusively, like one of those games that you could use one and one, so they might be different levels. But right now we got, they're both at the same. So we're gonna take this out. This, take this out, oops. Oop, let's go back. Gonna put this down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and connect these to the tablet. There's a couple ways you can do it. You can actually take off the tablet and then connect these, or you, while the tablet is on the dock, you can actually slide these through. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the tablet out of the dock. Like you see there, very cool. And right now I'm gonna go ahead and connect the Joy-Cons. There you go, look at that. I like the animation that it shows you right there. Ooh, just like that. So you see there, the transition from the TV to the tablet is super, super, super fast. I really, really like it. And of course, I'm using the dark theme, which uh, I like it a lot better. Uh, it lets bright, less brightness, and it also saves a little bit more battery as well when you use dark themes on any device, including Android and iOS devices. So like, see there, very cool. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is that Let's say you connect the tablet, right? The tablet like this. Yeah, the tablet like this to the TV with the Joy-Cons on. Um, the TV or the console is not gonna recognize that it has uh, a, jo a controllers connected to the console. So it's gonna t ask you to please connect um, a controller by pressing these two top buttons right there because when this is connected to 
the dock with the Joy-Cons is actually charging the Joy-Cons as well and it's not recognizing controllers connected. So let's go ahead, for example, this right here, right, I'm gonna press, this is Zelda Breath of the Wild. There you go. Uh, keep in mind, since I'm connected to, I'm connected the console directly to my home theater, not the TV, there's a little delay. There's a little delay. And you like, so there, the delay wasn't that much. But if you connect it directly to the TV, the delay is a lot less. So like, see there, you're going to see right there, it says press L, L plus R on the controller because it's not recognizing any controller because the Joy-Cons are connected to the tablet. So let's go ahead, disconnect the Joy-Cons. We disconnected the Joy-Cons from the tablet. We press these two. And there you go. It says, uh, press A when you're ready. Press A. There you go. It said there's a message right there. It says the Joy-Con grip accessory is recommended when playing. And that's it, guys. So, like you see there, looks beautiful. This game actually looks beautiful on the TV. And, but for me, it looks a way better on the, on the tablet itself when you're playing it on tablet mode. But it looks pretty damn nice there. You see there, here we could go ahead and connect this to the Joy-Con grip, just like that. Doot, doot. And this is so satisfying. <laughs> and that's it. So now we have it in con console mode with the proper controller. And I gotta say, this actually feels very comfortable playing it like that. I really, really do like it. It does feel like a normal controller, just like a Xbox One or PlayStation 4 controller. It does not feel like a hybrid controller when you're connecting it like this. And that's why I'm really, really surprised because like you see here, this, if you look at it, it doesn't really look comfortable at all. It really doesn't. But when you have it in your hand, it does feel like a normal freaking controller, which is very cool. So guys, that's it for this video. Just wanted to share, you know, uh, hands-on first impression when you're connecting this to the TV. And just to share with you guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.